G'day guys, a bit of an update for you on the uh, $35 1000 watt power inverter. So, uh, put a bit of power out of it recently. Um, we're up to 2.2 kilowatt hours. So we've got a little bit out of it so far. And uh, something I noticed today that the I thought just the terminal was loose. It wasn't it's the one on the inside? The actual terminal on the inside came undone, which uh, got it hot and melted it out. It's a little surround. The positive one's still good. The negative one got a little bit warm in there. So uh, I pulled the back off it and rectified that. I will do a tear down of this another day, but I don't want to wreck it yet. Um, a few more batteries to play with well before then, before we worry about pulling it apart to uh, see what's going on inside. So, one thing that's a real positive is it's got a, quite a powerful fan, but the downfall is that it always runs. Uh, if you haven't seen the link to these, I'll post the eBay link. I think I've got a Banggood one as well. I think I found the exact same model on Banggood. So if you want to buy it from either or if you've got points or credit or whatever for either one of them, you can grab them there. But it actually works rather well. It holds a good voltage. I think we're at 244. And uh, yeah, it's not a 1000 watt inverter. It's more like a 500 watt inverter. But uh, I've pulled 2.2 kilowatts out of this one now and intend to not stop. So we'll just keep using it until something fails and when something fails we'll do a teardown video so uh, there's a definite little bit of switch mode um, heat these kilowatts sometimes don't like inverters I don't know why but uh, it just happens that, it, that charger over there hasn't produced any heat sitting there neither is that one they're both plugged into this power strip I uh, pulled all the tools out of one of my utes the other day and set them all here, hence why we've got a pile. It's a sea of Milwaukee. That's all the stuff that works. Um, something else to mention. We're going to pull this apart and have a look inside and see why it's so rubbish. But I bought this one off Banggood. And I really don't recommend buying knockoff batteries. Um, every knockoff battery I've ever bought has been a spud of a thing. No good. So it's an M12, 2 amp hour supposedly. Uh, the only thing it went okay in was the jacket. Um, everything otherwise comes up and either says it's charged when it's not. Now, I think this is the only charge that it liked. It doesn't like the rapid charges at all, but they, they get upset with it. Um, On any watts. 33 watts on. So, yeah, it might be charging it. But, uh, yeah, like I say, it really doesn't perform, even the 1.5 amp Milwaukee. And 12 batteries that I've had for a long time uh, drastically outdo it. So, that's the, uh, probably some of the earliest. M12 bats that I've got, so we should be pushing five for years old already. And they outdo them in every stretch. That won't even heat up the soldering iron. This one will heat it up and run it. This will run the impact wrenches. So, I've been planning on doing a comparison video between the uh, famous on this channel Milwaukee Fuel half inch CRW12. So, it's M12 half inch two mode. And of course, it's Big Brother now. It's a successor. The uh, FIW F12 Stubby. This is the short little one. Which is basically just a motor with a trigger when you actually look at the size of it. Go and pick one up in the store, slip a battery in it. Take a battery in with you. Look at the difference. 
heaps shorter, heaps rounder, so much more gutsy feeling. Don't get me wrong though, this has changed a lot of wheels. This is a good impact wrench. And I'll continue to use the life out of this because I really enjoy it. But yeah, I want to sit down and make some videos about comparing the two for you guys and things like that. I bought this bag of heat shrink. Well, I actually bought like six of them. That's the bang good. Well, there's all kinds of bigger, smaller. Not quite big enough to fit an 18650 in. Yes, I tried. I'll put a link to them as well. Good heat shrink. It's not the glue type one. It's just the standard stuff. So it's not waterproof. Someone might appreciate it. It's like seven or eight bucks for a giant bag of... All, all, all shapes and size heat in quite a few different colours. This has been an update from the shed for you. Bit of a lazy video, I'm sorry. But uh, this thing isn't dead yet. So the $35 inverter still kicking. We'll continue to make videos with it. We'll continue to run it. And uh, yeah, we'll have to do a video on this bloody battery because it's it actually. Uh, upsets me a little bit because they, they're just not even close to good enough which is quite upsetting so yeah bit of an update hope everyone's well thank you for watching if you buy stuff from the links down in the video description um, channel gets a kickback I appreciate the kickback we uh, means we can independently buy things like this and uh, review them in any way shape or form possible so uh, if you need just a cheap inverter, go and grab one. If you want to watch and see what happens into the future with it, keep on watching. I'll uh, keep making videos as things progress and change with it. But uh, currently, like I say, doing its job. It's not the most powerful thing in the world. It's not the perfect frequency, but it's uh, it's still running. So, uh, so yeah, we, we can't complain yet. It's, uh, it's powered by my gel cell pack down there which we need to do some work on and testing but I'm just so busy with work at the moment it's uh, been quite hectic uh, I haven't had a chance to do a great deal I'm waiting on a bunch of stuff to turn up from China for us to play with and uh, then we'll keep going Morningstar still doing its thing TriStar and uh, yeah we're still using still using bulk free power free from the sun every day. Thanks for watching YouTube. Catch us in the next video.